regular nation. Merry Christmas out there. Happy Holidays. You are now entering the irregular Christmas zone. Yes, that is correct. I hope you just enjoyed the uh, window that I just showed you. Um, at the end, um, our back bedroom window, it's on the oppo side for the other side of the courtyard. Um, you know, we did a little thing because I looked at all the other apartments over there and nobody's decorated over there. But the building over to me, to the right, pretty much everybody's decorated. And I'm the only psychotic window on my block right here. It's kind of, you know, upsetting. But yeah, when, alright, so also, while recording this, it is currently 13 days away. Right, Kelsey? 13 days, correct? Okay, well, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But we got a countdown right there. And then there's also a countdown upstairs. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got my screwed shirt on. Um, these lights that I got around my neck, they're kind of dying, but that's okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk up. You see that arcway, that candy cane arcway. We're going up to, you know, the North Pole. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the North Pole in the friggin' uh, one-bedroom apartment. Ah! <laughs> yeah, real funny. Okay, let me flip this, because, you know, enough of looking at myself. And we are going to walk up these stairs. Let's take a look at what we got. Now, when you do look up the stairs, and I give you this shot, it is kind of a cool shot, I must say. There's about, I say... Just, I say like close to 3,000 lights going up the stairs. Close to it. And Kelsey thinks I'm insane. But, you know, she loves when I do all these setups, so. <laughs> I tried to have a McDuck hat on. Scrooge McDuck. So this is the closest I could get, as you saw while I was talking to you. Got the Grinch. Now, I, you, I, now each year, this is the third year of this. I change it up. So you can go back on the channel and watch the old setups. Especially as we get up there. Now, of course, not everything's Christmas right there. We've got the elephants. But these boards were always incorporated into a diorama that I did up top. That I did different this year. lines there. Sorry, everybody. Adjusting the, the camera lighting is woo -wee, a lot of fun. And then, as you can see, this little monstrosity that I created right here, I made out of just like foam tubes that I had. So, I, t I had a, I have two lightsabers mounted that I made. And they had foam tubes in it. So, you know, I had everything set up. It's not the, per the most perfect thing you'll ever see, but I wanted to wrap lights around it and all that kind of stuff. It didn't work out. But I was just trying to be a little crafty on my day off one day, and I was like, you know what? Here, let me do it. And I was sending Kelsey this uh, video of it, and she's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm making it art. Now, <laughs> if you're six foot tall, your head's getting hit. I'm 5'8". My head just hits it, but my hair really poofs up, so it makes me look like I'm taller than I really am. <laughs> but, you know, here it is. You know, I wrapped tissue around it, and then I was putting snow around where I put the tapes, and I had to zip tie it, and zip tie the candy canes, you know, like, I try to MacGyver stuff, as I do. Now, this is not Christmas-oriented, but it does have the Christmas lights going on it. It is a Disney-style thing that I made for Kelsey and myself, of course, but she is the huge Disney fan, and why wouldn't you want to have yourself a nice Disney display shelf? As you can see. And, of course, my tacky wreath as I go around. Hello! Um... The, the tacky ass... <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love that thing. We'll put, um, we're gonna put halo lights on. Kelsey's gonna start working the halo lights at one point because I'm giving you the natural lighting of the place with it, without it, and then as we go on, we're gonna keep doing that. So the, here it is as you walk in. Now, I've got four projectors going. 
Okay, you've got the one that goes against the wall right there. Right? As you walk in, you see the, the tree. We gotta start the monorail. I've got the one projector going right there. <laughs> We've got another one going right here. Ha ha ha! Gotta step out of its ways. So pretty much anywhere you go, and then that kind of looks like, I wouldn't say the Northern Lights, but it has a Christmas look to it, because if you like that, that galaxy type of feel, but a Northern Light type of feel too. So, you know, we're trying to make it as good as possible. And now, also, and I'm talking very fast right now. We're gonna put those halo lights on. I think I should put those halo lights on so they can actually see my crazy ass. Hi, everybody. <laughs> we're gonna use both. Um, that's a diorama that I like to make throughout the little mantle fireplace. We've got Christmas vacation going on. And we'll be looking at that. And by the way, it's not, that diorama is not lit up fully. It's not lit up fully. So that will be lit up fully soon. But we're also gonna go into this little section right here. Well, how you doing? Doing pretty good, I see. Turn the other handle on. Last year, the one thing that we did do is we didn't use enough of our halo lights. And, but we were like, ah, oh, but we want to give the net, the, the way the lighting looks, you know, because when you walk in here, it looks so cool. And, <laughs> well, at least to me. But, you know, you can't, you can't see the face. And then you can't obviously see, like, all the ornaments that are on the tree. And at one point, when you don't see me, I have to take these yellow glasses off, even though I love to wear them. But it really distorts the way everything looks, and I don't know if I'm actually getting the right lighting with the shot, so I'm like, ah! Yeah, they're not meant to be worn in here, but you know, I use them for weird purposes. I don't know what else to say with that. So, um, yeah, cheers out there. Uh-huh. Kelsey's gonna pour us a couple shots, yep, in our little Christmas oven. Here I go talking about lights again. And our little Christmas glasses right there, and, 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 our Christmas cards arrived today, just to take a look at that, and I was gonna wear this Snoopy sweater, but guess what, way too hot, way too hot, yeah, and then we've got our innards, the innards of the card, oh, isn't that just pretty, I picked them out, I did, Huh? I did a good job, didn't I? I must say. No, so, let's take a second and we will be right back, okay? All right, we're about to go over our first display that I created. It was, you know, it was fun. Each, each diorama that I did, it was just fun to just create. So this is the, I guess you could say, Rudolph story in a way. We have all the Rudolph stuff. And, you know, Frosty the Snowman, of course, makes in. We all remember the stop-motion originals from back in the day, of course. So here we go. We're going to go check it out. Okay. So now, as you can see it, this was a fun one for me to make, okay? Always would find stuff. There's another countdown with the snowman. Like I said, 13 days away when this video is being shot. But this is the Rudolph story right here, right? So we walk in, so we got Kelsey's bear telling the little mouse right here. Right, that's the little mouse. Okay. Now he's, he talks. That's cute. So we're gonna stop that, right? So the whole point of that, right? So he's telling him a bedtime story. But he's telling him the Rudolph and Frosty the Snowman story, as you can see. So, Kelsey, if you can bring those lights in a little bit so we can get those reindeer. Now, these are Kelsey's from back in the day. You have Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, Blitzen, and Rudolph all in here. We even got the little Frosty the Snowman book right there. The North Pole, Santa Stop Here. Come on, we all remember that lion. You know you remember that lion. Now you see that little snow globe going in there. And that is technically 
Oh, we snuck Pluto in there, too. There's the North Pole, of course. And then down here, you know, we added a little bit more. And then this is an old reindeer. I've got Rudolph right here. Of course, he dances, but he'll fall off what he's on. We've got two Santas with their lists. We've even got a Santa sack. I need a Santa sack. So, with this little story that we're telling right here, you know, it's got all the characters. It's got all the characters. And here's the climax. Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Because at the end of the day, even though Rudolph was cast out, they needed him at the end of the day. So it is a really cool display when you look at it. I really do love the way this came out. It has a real look. And then adding the, the arcway to the candy cane, little um stuff right here, and it tied into this display so nice. I, I just love the way it looked. Love the way that this whole thing looked. And then down here, real quick, we've got, we've got the baby Jesus. The baby Jesus. So we just want to pop that on right there. Hello, baby Jesus. And this, this, this right here, it's like from 1970, and it's missing. It's missing the angel right here and a few others because I think my grandma lost it, but she won't say that. It's okay, though. <laughs> so what we're going to do now, right, is we're going to move on, okay, to the to this amazing tree right here, full of no filler ornaments, no fillers. And of course that lovely door that we have wrapped right there. We were gonna get, we couldn't find a giant two from tag. I'm sure if there was some kind of, you probably, crafty, I mean. yeah, I could, well actually I could have probably made it, but I just didn't do it. But anyway, I love the way the door came out. And then of course all that. And we're gonna get to that. We're gonna get to that. But next up, is that tree. So like I said, we're about to do that tree. And I'm not putting the glasses back on right now because I gotta make sure I'm doing things right because it just really, really screws things up. My big Lebowski glasses. Uh, Kelsey just poured those shots. So we're about to take those shots. Here they come. Here, wait, live action pour. Oh wait, you know, it's always funny. When I'm doing this, I look at the screen right here like a dumbass, like I'm looking at that. But I'm supposed to be looking at you. Looking at you! Hold on! <laughs> and then here we go. Shots are poured. Are you ready? Are you ready, girls? Here we go. Cheers! Merry Christmas, everybody. Mm. Woo! Okay. You ready to see all these ornaments on this tree? I don't know if you're ready. It's kind of tough to see them all. But we're going to go through them. So here we go. Here we go. Woo! All right, Kels. I don't even know. I mean, I guess move these in as much as possible with it stretching as much as it can. And so everybody knows, this tree right here, I don't want to back up into anything, is obviously a fake tree because we put it up November 1st. But it also has its own pre-light, its own like, you know, pre-lit lights. And then we add 700. Next year I want to add about 1,000. Oh, do you? Oh, Kelsey, you know we haven't used? We didn't use the mic. Is that okay? <laughs> Sorry for that slight delay. We put the mic on. We had to check to make sure my voice was picking up because we got the mic when we started doing Newsflash. So anyway, here we go! Woohoo! All right. Ready? Where do we start? So basically, when you're going up and down this tree, Kelsey's gonna mess with the lighting as I'm going around. I mean, yo, there's so much on this tree. We love these porcelain style ornaments. 
because they remind us like of the old school style ones. I mean, yo, know, ladies and gentlemen, it's tough. I mean, right there, you see the contemporary with the monorail. You know, we got the monorail right down there. We're gonna start that sucker soon. We've got DuckTales. We've got Scrooge jumping into his money pit right there. Mickey and Pluto. The Grinch. One of my faves. I love these. Of course, I love Donald. So this is like the old school cartoon when he would pop out. Like And then it's got it in the back. We've got a few of these. We've got Chippendale. Do we have any others? Do we have Mickey Mouse? No, we don't. Chippendale are riddled throughout this. To go through all these ornaments is gonna be tough because there's a crap load of ornaments on here, but like they all have purpose. They all have our personality to it, all the characters and things that we love. If my big head blocks stuff, I'm so sorry. I have a big head. Oh, this one's cool. Ready? It is. We, oh my God, there's like, is there one hidden there? No. Now, of course I have a Ghostbusters section right here. Ghostbusters, we've got the little mini puffs. We've got the plates. Oh yeah. I've even got, where is it? I don't know if you can see it, but there's the trap. Where is it? Uh, hold on, it's kind of tough to see. He's so tiny. There he is. And then of course, Ecto from Afterlife. I tried to section all of them too. We even got the Impala from Supernatural. Oh yeah. I've got a little Spider-Man section going right here. We got Spidey with his Santa sack. Yeah, kind of tilted down as much as you can. There we go. There we go. No, I was gonna think that one wouldn't reach. That's okay. We've got a Pop Spidey. We've got all different Simba. Simba. We've got a hidden Santa right here. We've got Lennox Mickey. Oh, the Electric Parade. Check out the Electric Parade. This one was cool. Ready? Ready for this? Disney's Electrical Parade. going. We've got Winnie the Pooh style stuff. Was it, that's uh, Kanga and Rue. We've got Snow White down here. Let's see if I can get that in the light. Yeah, look at that. That's a cool diorama. Roger Rabbit. Got lot, I got another Roger Rabbit over here that we picked up. <laughs> like I said, we have so much. This is, I always say this is like connected to Christmas vacation. This is from the ride Peter Pan at Disney. I love this one. I think this is so cool. The ride itself, not worth the wait, but the but that's what you sit in when you go. So cool. Very popular. So like I said, it's hard to like individualize each ornament. That's why I'm going through some of them just like that, everybody. And I just kicked the Jesus. Um, I love these right here because this is Kelsey's like favorite um, stop motion movie, Year Without a Santa Claus. You got Snow Miser, you got Heat Miser. Oh, yeah. Then we have our personalized ornaments right here. There we go. We've got our initials. Oh my god, I just knocked them down like dominoes! <laughs> I'm so sorry, Jesus! Um, Wally and Eva. 
Wally and Eva, yeah. As we go on, um, <laughs> Kelsey, could I get some lighting over here? Um, so, this was one of my faves right here. Ready? Hang it, Grandpa. Grandpa got run over by a reindeer. Walking home from our house Christmas Eve. You can say there's no such thing as Santa. But as for me and Grandpa, Stop laughing. So these are pretty cool. These are more like those, um, I guess, what do you call these? Like aluminum or porcelain or something? Like it just has that old 80s feel to me. 80s, 90s feel. Man, of course, National Lampoons. Hello. Hello. We're going to the best looking house in town, Russ. I've always wanted to do this. It's a lot of lights, Dan. And we got, um, <laughs> we got Cousin Eddie right here in his little mobile. It's a little Winnebago. <laughs> I think you might be overdoing it, Dad. Russ, when was the last time I overdid anything? Come on, unravel these. You have to check every Skyline, of course. Kelsey, should we start the monorail? I think so. I'll get you the box. On behalf of the cast of the Walt Disney World Resort, welcome to the Magic Kingdom. No smoking, please. Please hold on to the handrail. And there it goes. I think I gotta put new batteries in there already. <laughs> Here it comes. Here it comes. It's coming around. It's 20 years old, okay? It's 20 years old. And the lights still work. And the voice still works. Come on, talk. I had to follow it. It's cool. Some more ornaments. Oh, you know what? I love these. We have like a four pack of these. It has Donald, Goofy, Minnie, and Mickey. There's a couple other ones. Here's a Chippendale like I showed you before with that background, like they would used to start the old cartoons. We have an up section right here. We have Carl and Ellie. Oh, it's so cute. Then this right here that has all their different years and ages going on. I keep it turned that way because it matches the two right here. We've got the house. My, it's it's my favorite, one of my favorite Pixar's. Um, Magic Kingdom. We've got Walt. We've got <laughs> this one's cool. All right, everybody, let's make a movie. It's got all the different reels, all the different characters on it. Right. Camera. Action. Plays different stuff. You keep hitting it. I've got a little hero section going on right here. Got Goku. Soups. Different soups. He play. We got Reeves soups. We got Batman. We got Henry Cavill. Like I said, Goku. We've got. Hold on, let's stop that. Da, 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 da. We've got Winnie. Tigger. Oh my god. Where does it end? Does it end? No, it doesn't end. Because everything on this tree is not a filler. Oh my god. This. Oh, wait. So you turn all the different stations. The abominable. Oh, we have all these. We have to go get the latest 2023. We don't have it yet, but we will have it. We've got gingerbread on here. We have ornaments going down our south of the border right there. Oh my god, this right here. Look, look at Winnie. Look at Winnie down here. Ah, oh, I got it. Hold on. Let me get him. There we go. He's on. But you can see him because of the lighting. But that is such a cute Winnie the Pooh. 
We got Central Perk. This right here, if you turn it. So, right here. Can't really. There we go. <laughs> we got Frosty right here. We've got we got a little whiskey bar, a uh, little whiskey bottle right there. Another Santa. We've got another car. We've got a lamb. We've got more of our initials. Central Perk. I mean the couch. Come on, Goofy. A little froggy. I gotta make sure I don't hit myself right here. Um, did I even look at the Animaniacs? Where's my? Oh, there's the Animaniacs. Another 2021. Like I said, the ornaments are endless on here. Endless. Oh, jeez. Endless. Endless. Look at There's Frosty. Frosty. What are you doing over there? Chippendale. What are you guys doing down there? Hold on. Let me go down the stairs. Get out of my way. I've got nutcrackers. I've, it's kind of hard. I'll do my best to show you. We've got letters to Santa right here. Got the G-Men, of course. I've got a beer can because, you know, why wouldn't you want to? Um, I mean, it's just... No matter what you do, you walk up these stairs. <laughs> you're just, you're going into madness. You're just going into madness. You walk in, you're like, damn. So you know what it's time for? It's time to go see that diorama that we got. Yeah, the other diorama in the little mantle. We'll be right back. All right, we're at the final stage here, okay? You saw the outside window. That's the innards that go right there. Of course, you know, all the extension cords and all that shit that go into that. But here we go into the final little Christmas display that we got. And I'll show you the door, of course. Oh my God, I didn't even show you the door. And I didn't show you the back window, of course. So those are the two last things. But this is the last diorama. So here we go. Oh, gosh. So here it is. Now, every year, this changes up. It's always different. There's nothing ever the same. So here we go. And now, Right here, right? This is pretty cool. So you got you got everything going on up top there. Our stockings, our stockings are awesome. Of course. Got our stocking holders. Our Santa stocking holders. Our little lanterns behind it. Some glow. This is a cool ass globe, I must say. That's okay. Kelsey loves her some snow globe. Action, I got another one of those Santa letters, letter to the Santa sacks. But what was cool about this year is we had all these little mini dioramas, right? That I, we've collected over the last three years. They all play different Christmas music, okay? As you can see, I've even got a little Grinch section, which is awesome. Kelsey loves the Grinch. We got our boots. We got everything just has like a tie. We got the giving plate right there. Oh, uh, another countdown. This was a fun one to set. I always use that, that stupid tacky ass thing. Everything I like to have is tacky kind of, but it's okay. And what I did right here with the birch tree is I made it into a Charlie Brown tree, right? I made that into a Charlie Brown tree. And Snoopy, and he's telling him a story. And then we got the car and the gingerbread house. We've got Mickey. We've got Mickey and Minnie right there. They're overseeing this whole wonderland. Chip and Dale up there with their candy canes and Santa hats. Pluto and Mickey. I mean, come on, everybody. Look at this. Look at this fun. Look at all this madness. Now, this all comes out of my head, too. Oh, sorry. I, uh, I was actually a very big fan of this. We've also got Mr. and Mrs. Squirrel right there. That, those are our Thanksgiving. <laughs> That's our Thanksgiving. Um, don't say we have Thanksgiving. Yeah, don't say we don't have Thanksgiving. We've got a couple Christmas pillows right there. Yeah, a countdown pillow. We've got a pillow right there and all that madness. 
Here it is. Yeah, I'm excited about it too. So when you're sitting here on the couch, you get to look at this crazy thing and everything else that of course I have going on in here, but yeah. <sighs> so I'm gonna take it to the two last spots. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to go hit that like, go hit that subscribe, and become a part of the Irregular Nation, because you know what? You don't know what the hell is coming. And why wouldn't you want to? Come take a ride on the Irregular side all the time with this guy. See you next time. Bye.